So the sideline hip shift is a great way to teach yourself how to rotate in and out of your hips um, from more of a warm-up perspective or a corrective exercise perspective. Uh, so what you're going to need is either a foam roller, um, you can use one of the peanuts that we have, um, or uh, a little ball, anything that you can put between your legs and um, can shift, like can shift with, right? so almost like a steering wheel. Um, you're going to start in a 90-90 position <clears throat> against the wall. Um, so what that means is your, your heels are in 90 90 with your knees, which are in 90 90 with your hips, which are in 90 90 with your shoulders, right? So from here, you're gonna put your feet about shoulder width apart, whatever you're gonna to use to rotate, uh, help rotate your legs, you, could actually, you can actually do it without, um, without an a implement as well. Um, but we're gonna go over with an implement, it's just a little bit easier to understand where to pull from and push from. Um, you're going to start in that, in that 90 90 position. You're gonna push your feet in the wall as hard as you can. This should light up your glutes and, and your hamstrings. Um, really try to grab the wall. Uh, from here, you're going to squeeze the roller, so that should light up your, your groin. You're going to inhale through your nose, and you're going to shift your top leg back. And as you exhale, you're going to squeeze. Keeping that, that knee in the same position, you're going to inhale again, exhale, and then squeeze. Right? And, and the goal here, so let's say it's three breaths, is inhale, squeeze, or inhale, shift, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, shift farther, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, shift farther, exhale, squeeze. So you're not resetting at all here. So I'm gonna go over three reps for my right side. And then a cue that can help you feel your, your core and your lower half a little bit better is if you reach your arm, that'll help you drive a little bit more core control. So I'll show you what that'll look like. One of the common mistakes I see when, when ex, uh, ex, executing this exercise is as I tend to shift, I open up my upper body, which is going to be problematic because I'm trying to keep my upper body still and just shift in my hips, right? So that, that reaching of the arm will help out tremendously. And I'm going to show you without a, uh, a foam roller. So we'll go feet closer together here, right? I'm going to push down. I'm going to inhale, shift, exhale. Squeeze. Typically like to program this for uh, three to five breaths for three to five sets. In a warm up, it could be done, um, you know, again for, you know, one or two sets of three to five breaths. And it can definitely be used in between deadlifts or if you're having an athlete learn how to load their, their back or their front leg when you're pitching or hitting.